then here on the 10 there's a principal we are going to put the principal which Michael Yusuf needs need to borrow for instance I'm going to put three five million this I'm going to leave it but also here there's a long term we are going to put the long term the, 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 the long term for instance I want to put 12 then after here I'm going to put the frequent long term will be 12 but also here there's a first payment it's not mandatory but when you need to fill it you can just see fill it when when we need to command to the system that the first payment for Michael Yusuf for this loan will be will be will be this date so we're going to put it but it's not mandatory if you need you can just see put it then here we pay this ever one month it's already selected after here we're going to put then here there's interest charge before when you need to when you need to specify when we need to specify when the interest will be charged the form you can just put a date but it's not mandatory if you if you don't need to certify you can just delete it but when you need to put the to, to certify that the charge will be the interest charge the form will be from this date you can just put it but also here there's interest it's already there 3.5 after here here the, the, the interest method it's already configured it's flat amortization is equal installment here there's interest calculation we're going to use them as repayment period but also here I have tolerance so I'm not going to put it it's not mandatory if there is you can just put it the payment is started you're going to use penalty fee interest principal and the order but also there's the word moratorium if you need to put the moratorium on the principal payment you can just put it on interest payment you can just put it but also on allergic you can just put it but it's not mandatory after there you can just go to the next step and then on the next step here there's charges when you need to add the charges of loan you can just select here and put the charges of this loan because i want to put adam copo after that i'm going to add it after add it you can just go to the next step if there is overdue charges for this loan you can put it if the list can just leave it but also collateral you can just put it it's not mandatory if there's not you can just leave it and go to the next step on the next step we can just preview our loans if all the documents which have been submitted are okay after that after preview it and, and see all the documents or all the information are correct we can just submit our loan